Hello, this is Death Rider, and welcome to my next Let's Play. I have recently just finished Legend of Leak New Legacy, and time to get on to my next one right away. Now, typically when I choose a Zelda Classic quest to play, either it's one that I played way back, or it's like the newest one which I did with Legend of Leak New Legacy. It was only out for a couple weeks by the time I got to it. Um, or it's highly rated or popular or talked about like I did when I did Panoply of Caladia. Now, this one... Uh, is also going to be fairly unique, but in a very different way. So I had played, n like, newest Zelda Classic Quest in the past, but this time I decided to go with the opposite approach. I'm in my 2.50 Zelda Classic, which was meant for compatibility for previous ones. I don't know how old or how compatible, like, I don't know how if it goes back to 1.9. Basically, I am going to play the very first quest uploaded to the PureZC database. Now, it's the first one that's on the database, Maybe others were uploaded but then deleted because it came out in 2002. Uh, so this is... Can't fit the whole name. Ocarina of Power, created by Wild Bill, who I found out, unfortunately, is no longer alive. He apparently passed away in 2013, which, that's very sad. Um, yeah, and I guess a nice way to honor him is by... Playing, playing this, being one of the earliest Zelda Classic creators, because Zelda Classic, I believe, came out in 1998? 99? Actually, you know what? I could just reset Zelda Classic. Uh, actually, I don't... That doesn't help. I, I don't know. It's, it's really old. Like, this is one of the first quests, if not the first quest. In fact, I was four years old when this thing was uploaded to the database, which is quite insane. So let's get to it. And obviously, it'll be a very simple quest, being how how old it is. I don't think quests back then were that complex. I can't even skip the dialogue. Oh. Okay. Even as a game time. Has heart pieces. Okay. And also, this is going to be the oldest Zelda classic quest I have ever played. So, this is new territory. This is all I can give you. You'll have to find a sword on your own. Well, that's kind of annoying. And interesting. So, yeah. Already looking fairly simple as it is. Let's play the money-making game. Nope. I can't skip the dialogue. It truly does feel like the original Zelda. There's red markers. Oh, hammer. No spacebar map. This is basically the original Zelda as far as I'm concerned. Uh, wow. Yeah, I've never thought to play when the soul buys something. Uh, well, I do actually have 20 rupees. I could do that. Hmm. Well, I can't really do anything. So, Hyrule Field, I guess? I There's no map, either. So, um... This will certainly be very interesting. Ah. Well, perhaps I should have gotten bombs to bomb that down there. A lot of Ocarina spots. Unsurprisingly. Ooh, wallet, I guess. Oh, by the way, oh my god. This is a um, two point or 1.9 version quest. Like, just for reference, nowadays, like, my quest I'm developing is 2.55. So, yeah. Real Moblin hide. Okay, well, cool. But yeah, uh, very old quest. Like, I was four. <laughs> Jeez, that, that is crazy. Okay. That certainly looks like a pushable rock. I don't want to go too far if there's something close by. Hmm. Ooh. Can I drown? Probably not. Drowning might not have even been a thing back then. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember if it was 99 or 98 when Zelda Classic came out. When was the 20th anniversary? Was that 2018? Dang, I can't remember. But yeah, it was sad to hear that uh, the creator passed. In fact, actually, a lot of the, um, or a few of the older older um, people involved with Zelda Classic aren't around anymore, from what I've heard. Uh, so, I mean, you figure 20, 25 years that this has been a thing. Like, that's a, if people were in their 30s when they started it, they're now in their 50s, maybe 60s. So, you know, that's... Yeah. It's a long time. Ooh. 
Is there a sort of bomb there? Can I bomb that? Hmm. I gotta like switch my gears to like the very first when I first played Zelda and I didn't know anything about what's going on. I'm not gonna assume any kind of conventions in this. I'm just gonna Well, I mean, you know, I, I just, wow, I just let that happen. Okay, so I was given 20 rupees off the bat, and bombs are 20 rupees, so it seems pretty obvious that that is my course of action. Oh, but as always, link in the description if you want to play this, and also to Zelda Classic. Uh, finding yourself... What a waste of a bomb. The reason I hit B was because I'm used to there being a dialogue. When you pick up an item, it gives you a description and a string that you have to hit A or B to get past. B to not have the text type out. Ugh. <sighs> Jeez. Well, I mean, okay. I I'm assuming I should go to the... Pillar that had a, a sword on it. I'm assuming I have to bomb that? I don't remember where that was. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. But yeah, this, this is gonna be pretty interesting. Again, it's the oldest quest I've ever played. Okay, how did I get over to the other side? I'm gonna zip a little bit. Oh. Yeah, we're also gridlocked. Haven't played gridlocked in a little while. So, ooh, okay, that was bad, bad dodging. Up here, perhaps? Might have been up here. God dang it, I shouldn't be zipping around. It's a death wish. Where did I see that big, big pillar? I, I gotta actually pay more attention to the map, because I'm gonna get utterly lost if I don't. Here we are. I'm hoping that there's a thing here. I don't really know... What am, what am I to do? Can I go behind here, perhaps? I mean, I can't exactly do that when you're sitting right there. Come on. I mean, I can't, I don't know what to do right now. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I'm actually gonna retry, because I didn't make any progress, really. So you don't give me a sword. Let's not waste a bomb this time. So all I can give you, you'll have to find a sword on your own. I don't know what I could do. I am gonna rebuy the bombs. Yeah, I keep trying to skip the dialogue. I'm so nice. <laughs> can't skip the dialogue. Okay, so I can't do anything here. I mean, money-making game, I could try to get some more money. Let's save and see if I can get some more money. Uh, unless I can bomb something in that old man's cellar. Hmm. Maybe not. I don't know. All right. I spent my money. I don't know what I was thinking about that. Well, great. And I saved, so I would need to start completely over. If I get really desperate, I'm gonna end up having to bomb things that aren't typically bombable. Well, great. Maybe... Oh, come on. I, am, I, am I expected to use the bombs on those gels in level 1? Is that where the sword is? Hmm. This just leads to a dead end. There are hammer pegs. That's interesting. How, how soon was... Okay. How soon was the hammer implemented? 
Oh, I mean, obviously very early. Okay, I started over. I now have this money. I'm going to save with the money and see if I can get more money. I mean, I could get more bombs, perhaps. I don't really know what I'm going to be using this money on. Uh, yeah. Let's find out. Hey, money-making game. Worst way to try to get money, but here we are. Hmm. Oh, that was a minus ten consecutively, twice in a row. Fantastic. I'm going all in on the middle. Mm -hmm, yeah. I'm going to save that, because it's extra money. Got to get that extra money where I can. Heck yeah. Okay, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. I don't know what I can do with 60 rupees, but I know I can get could get two sets of bombs. Well, I could get that. Yeah, let's let's get two sets of bombs. There we go. All right, now I have eight bombs to play with. So if I absolutely need to bomb the in fact, actually, let's save again so that I can bomb the normal stuff in addition to the gels in level one. I'm assuming it's level one. I don't even know if it's level one. Gotta find out where the sword is. I don't know if bombs hurt. It didn't I look like I kind of walked on the explosion. Okay, they just immediately spread out. Okay. Okay, there's two. Okay. Two bombs. Ooh! That was what you had to do. Well then. Okay. Cool. Oh, oh. It looked like I got stuck there for a minute. Okay, well that was totally worth it, because now I can actually do things. Yes, vengeance. Okay. Awesome. And it is interesting that there are heart pieces. That that is something I certainly did not expect from such an early quest. Oh, the bushes just vanish. Woo! Big, wow, that was big money. Holy crap. Part of me almost does want to do the money-making game, because then I could just, like, retry and save based on the outcome. Uh, no. I'm not doing that. Not doing that. So there are indeed secrets. And there's a lot of other land, additional land that I can see. So let us see. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna be checking all this now that I know that stuff's hidden. And it will certainly be interesting to be playing a quest of uh, this caliber after having played one of the most new, one of the newest quests in the game. I heard that if you play music on the Triforce, something will happen. Aha! You mean the Triforce that's just to my right? Mm hmm Cool. Alright. Almost have 100 rupees already. I could actually get a magic shield, I believe. I believe that's how much, uh... They were... Pr oh, okay. That they were priced at. Ooh, that's a bombable. Right as I got here, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hold on, how many? Oh, there. I just realized that there's eight red spots. Are those on the map? Are, are each of those for the dungeons? Fairy? Do you have anything to say, or you're just a fairy? Okay. Okay. Seeing a lot of things not being very thorough. Ooh! Heart piece! Here we are, the first heart piece. Cool. So I need a bomb for that. Yep, need a, need a bracelet for that. 
I hit it and it didn't work. Okay, I don't know why that was the case. So, apparently, I'm guessing there'll be a dungeon over here. Ah, oh my god. Was that three consecutive heart pieces? Like, a heart piece on three consecutive screens? It surely seemed like it. Also, I need that... Okay, that's four heart pieces consecutively. That's one. That's two. And then there was one over here. And then there was one up here. Oh, no, three consecutive, but, I mean, there's one here. So, oh, hey, so, yeah, I got one heart piece already. Nice, nice. Okay. So, arrow spot, perhaps? I don't know. Whatever it is, I can't do anything about it. So, uh oh Cool. So, there was... Well, hey. Oh, I'm here. Might as well. No sword beams. So that is something that is new. Heh. <laughs> new. Not, not really new, but pretty standard, actually. I wonder what it, what, what it would have been like to be involved with ZC then, and then to see, like, what it ended up becoming. You know? Like, Z ZC's pretty amazing with the way it is now. To be completely honest, like, the community may not be huge, but it's, 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 it's active, and there are people, very intelligent people working on things. I don't know what's up with that armos. But, like, with the help I get with scripting, like, some of these people that work in the community are absolutely amazing at what they do. And, um, I hope that, like, my, my... My plan, not really a plan, because I don't know what I'm going to do in the future, is that once I'm done with my quest, that time I would have otherwise have been spending doing quest dev will be spent, like, uh, devoted to the community, like writing scripts and whatnot. I don't know if I'll ever write or make another quest, uh, aside from Terror Necromancy. I don't... Well, I mean, honestly, we'll find out when I finish Terror of Necromancy, see if that's something I... You know, if, if, if I want to dive into another quest... I have thought about what it would be like to make, like, a sequel to it. Um, perhaps a different tile set. I don't know. I, I really do like the Game Boy tile set. It is by far my favorite tile set. Uh, so, I don't know. But I would certainly like to invest more time into the Zelda community. And I do think that it's, it's a community that you should definitely get involved with. If you like Zelda or even just retro games in general. Okay, that's a dungeon. That sounds like a dungeon. Is this marked on the map? It is not, so I have no idea what the heck this is. Let's just go in and see what's up. Hyrule Castle theme, so... Go gather all eight... Ah, okay, it's level nine. Key fragments, so you can form the magic key. Form the magic key. Okay, form the magic key. Certainly not what I was expecting out of that, but okay. Uh, there is a red dot directly to the right, which is very close to the start, so it makes me think that that might be level one. You know, it's very close to the entrance, so it's expected that you would go there fairly early. Now that I'm actually paying attention to the map, I probably will get the wallet, or no, the magic shield first but at least <laughs> the nice thing about this quest is i can pretty much assume with some certainty that oh, apparently this is where the dun oh no they're whistle spots i bet okay i can kind of assume with some certainty that uh the standards for zelda damage and health are actually accurate like active here not accurate so like a gibdo being hit with the wooden sword would take nine hits, much like a guinea, a guinea and a blue wizard would. So I can kind of assume that that stuff might be the same. So far, that seems to be accurate with the Moblins and uh, Octorox I've been fighting. I don't remember... So is there an Ocarina spot here? There isn't. Well, I don't know what the red spots are then, because I assume that those were... Uh... I assume that those are Ocarina spots. Well, first dungeons and Ocarina spots. I don't know what they are. Okay, well, definitely we'll get that shield to have a magic shield. 
I actually can't go left. Oh. Well, that is interesting. Yeah, because it... I, I actually don't know why that's like that. That's weird. But yeah, now I have a shield. I still don't, I still don't know what to do right now. Uh, there's a red spot here. Is, is there a dungeon here? Is, is this a thing? Hmm. I don't really have the bombs to experiment with, so unfortunately I can't do that. Uh, did I ever go down here? I don't know if I ever actually went down here. Ah, okay. Why is there a singular rock over there? Yeah, so... Hmm. I, I don't want to force the maze path, especially when there's a guy right here that's going to tell me. Yes, you know the secrets of the Lost Woods. Well, what are they? Section 2. Right, down, down, left. What do you mean, Section 2? Section 2. Right, down, down, left. Meaning, is there going to be more than one Lost Woods? Right, down, down, left. Okay. I don't know what you meant by Section 2, but that's making me think that there are three different Lost Woods. Okay. Section 1. Left, down, right, down. Okay. Left down, right down. Let's try left down, right down. Left. Down. Oh, right. Down. Ah, okay. Oh, that's what's going on. Okay. Left down, right down. And that's a burn spot. Okay, so this is where taking pictures with my cam with my phone well, is going to be very useful for me. Okay, section three is up, down, left, down, up, up, down, left, up. Okay, so I've got all three of these guys here. I I, I can't move when I do that. I can't go left when that happens. Okay, so left, down, right, down. And I would take pictures of oddities, but I'll do that when I actually have a means of doing anything, because I literally have no means of doing anything. Okay, and you are right, down, down, left. So, right, down, down, left. You got blue moblins. Half step. Half step worked even back then. Cool. Well, what am I saying? It worked on the original Zelda. Ooh, bombs! Uh, right, down, down. That's not it. Uh, up, down, left, up. Up, down, left. It takes me to the red dot. Oh, those rocks were showing me this section. Okay. Me thinks this is level one. I have no basis for. Oh my god. Die from such a stupid thing. Okay, let us check out this dungeon. Level one. Interesting music. I would like health, if you would please. Oh, there's the map right away. Oh, wow, level one is small. Okay. I don't like gels. Okay, uh, no. I'd be wasting two bombs. Well, hey, let's see. Alrighty then. What do we got? Keys or bats? I don't know for for sure if the original Zelda bats were bats or keys. Hmm. Well, let's see what's over here. So, well, this will be kind of cool to. Oh my God! Play um an original uh, Zelda style quest such as this. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm going up. And this this episode will run a little long, even though I believe uh, there'll be some cuts. Not because I 
wasted a lot of time, but because, like, I restarted the game at one point. So... Cannot say I've ever gotten a hook shot out of level one, but... Oh my god, I'm dancing with death right now. LNR cycling, huh? Well, I guess with 2.55 there was compatibility, so it might have added some things like that. I don't know. Well, awesome! I have the hook shot at <laughs> level one. That is... I'm not gonna complain about that. Not one bit. Oh, what am I... Why did I bomb there? The, of course there wouldn't have been a thing there. So... How do I get out of here? Because I... Oh, well, wait. I can actually do what's going on over here. Thank God that that's a hookshot spot. Otherwise, I would have taken damage from that. So I need the ladder to actually get that, then. Okay. Ah, well, I can actually make use of that. Okay. Cool. Oh, wait. Yeah, so... Alright, pretty much just the whole right side of the dungeon. Hookshot out of level 1. That certainly is very unique. Very unique. Even in terms of, like, modern days, all the classic quests, really. And the boomerang. Okay, well, the boomerang is kind of paling in comparison a little bit. Because I... Hookshot's cooler. Ooh. So, hard pieces in dungeons. Good to know. Which one... Hey, hard piece. Sweet. Number two. All right. Hmm. Which one dust push? So I feel like it's always a center one. You know, just for kicks, let's take a look. See? Mm -hmm. So literally just the key. What is up this way? Oh, I got the hook shot, so... Sweet. Alright. So I never did go straight up the center, but I didn't have a key, so I actually couldn't. Statue shooter is my favorite. Woo! Yoink! I'll just grab that, because why not? Alright, so I now have three keys. I Am I to assume that I would have needed to have, uh... Like, is this gonna be a key gauntlet? Am I gonna need to use all three keys consecutively going up? Certainly looks like I will. Man, hookshot puzzles is ready! <laughs> I don't know what just happened there, but sure, why not? <laughs> Kinda got a little stuck there, and yeah. Well, I honestly can't say I've ever heard of a uh, Dodongo, uh... Oh no, that that's why uh, that sound was being heard, because it's actually Dodongo's. Okay, well... Okay, I kind of did that intentionally. I was legit curious if bombs hurt me. Alright, so that's level one. But there is money in here, so... Ooh. I'm collecting keys, apparently. I didn't read the m much of the details on Pure... Uh, so I don't really know why I'm collecting keys. Oh, another key fragment lies buried near the village. Mm. Oh, that's cool! Wow! You beat a dungeon, you get a key, it warps you to Zelda, she tells you where the next one is. Or, like, hints you at the next one. Okay. I'm liking this, you know? For for the first Zelda Classic Quest, this is not what I was expecting. I, I was expecting essentially Zelda 1. Like, no special things, like pretty basic, just, you know, exper like someone experimenting with the uh, creation engine. But this is like, this is actually, well, I mean, I don't think this is using scripts. I don't even know if scripts were a thing at that time. But it's certainly, like, the... Uh, Wild Bill certainly did things that, you know, he was innovating. So, uh, I'm excited for this one. It's very simple, but, you know, 
that's awesome. It's cool to see the legacy of Zelda Classic. All of my favorite quests, like nowadays, and everything that we all consider are cool about Zelda Classic built off of the past, and this is the past right here. So yeah, I'm excited for this one. I hope you guys are excited for this one, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Goodbye.